Students don't come to college just thinking about the classroom. They want a more personalized experience. They want to have more hands-on experience. They want more experiences such as what we're trying to do out here. There's something about being here in person where things just sink in better than when you're learning in the classroom. And maybe you, know, you put up a single slide of a mountain range and contrasting that to spending hours driving through that mountain range, looking at every single thing that you're looking at the window, every peak and every valley, every landslide, and just really understanding the place. And I think that really helps them learn about the processes, which geological processes are happening and how do they happen, what time scales. Like it all just comes together for them much better when they're here in person. Being a years major, this is like the perfect place to study. Like this is like way better to like come outside and like be hands on the rock rather than just like staring at a textbook or like holding a little sample in the lab. It's a way better way to learn and it's way more like immersion and I've learned more this term than I have at any other term during my Dartmouth career. This is not a program we as a faculty go and tell the students everything. This is not a show and tell experience, right? This is a a key part of what we're trying to do is have them collect their own data and come to their own conclusions based on the data that they collect. I've definitely learned a lot about the mindset of a field geologist and how going into the field is super different from like sitting in a classroom lecture and having all the facts laid in front of you. You really have to work to get those data measurements and after you get them they may be uncertain. There's a lot more wiggle room, I would say, in the field for finding out what your data means. So that's been a good experience, just knowing that like things aren't necessarily black and white in geology. Science has changed dramatically. We used to be very data limited. You would have an entire career going and collecting just a few data points, and you would try to extrapolate based on that data set. These students are coming into a situation where data is all around them. They're going to live in a data-rich world but not all data is equally reliable, equally valuable. And we're trying to get them to be more critical about accepting whatever information they're getting and saying, where did it come from? What are the assumptions that go into that information? And how, how useful it is for my purposes? There is a lot that you can gain from taking what you have and applying it. You feel really helpless when we come to a new place and we don't know anything about the stratigraphy or the kinds of rocks about us or the paleo environment that we're supposed to be getting from something. But you have to apply this like sort of imperfect knowledge to the place that you're going. And then once you're there, you can learn so much more than you ever thought you could. And I think a lot of the stretch is building your confidence and being able to do anything like in the field or on your own.